Asian Times, I am Mr. Torres together with Ms. Gonzalez and Ms. Yere for the weather forecast. Today's coverage is the weather condition in Egypt. In the middle of the Upper Egypt, especially the Tebes, felt the lash of Typhoon Egyptian Arithmetic, a typhoon with a double I because of the merging of Typhoon Egyptian Multiplication and Typhoon Egyptian Division. A phenomenon called Fujiwara Effect, to explain further about Typhoon Egyptian Arithmetic, Ms. Yere will take over. Typhoon Egyptian Arithmetic was essentially additive. Why? To reduce multiplication and division in solving multiplication and division of two given numbers. Isn't it ironic? We are multiplying and dividing two numbers without performing multiplication and division. And that is the power of Egyptian Arithmetic. Anyway, the methods commonly used are doubling and halving. Ms. Gonzalez will take over to explain it further. Thank you, Ms. Yere. Don't worry, though it may sound like a trouble because of the merging of two typhoons which are Typhoon Egyptian Multiplication and Typhoon Egyptian Division, the level of destruction is divided into two, making it weak. Typhoon Egyptian Multiplication is multiplication of two numbers by successively doubling one of the number and adding the appropriate duplication to form the product. So in order to find the product of 112 and 67, always remember that in Egyptian arithmetic, we will always begin at 1 in the multiplicand. And then we will just copy what is the multiplier. So we will begin at 1 and 67. Then we will double this number. 1 plus 1, 2. 67 plus 67, 134. 2 plus 2, 4. 134 plus 134, 268. Then we will continue doubling until we find an equivalent number in the right side that is equal to 112. So let's double the numbers. Then we have this set of numbers. Then we will find what numbers will equal to 112. We have 64, 32, and 8. We stop at 64 because if we add 64 to 64, it is equal to 128, which is more than 112. So we will get the corresponding numbers of 16, 32, and 64, which are 1072, 2144, 4288. And if we add these three, we will have 7054. So the product of 112 and 67 is 7,054. Let's call Miss Yere to help us in this example. Thank you, Miss Gonzalez. Now let's proceed to our next example, which is 19 multiplied by 71. So now we will start at our 1 as our multiplicand and copy the 71 as our multiplier. Now. We begin doubling it. So we have 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 and 71 plus 71 is equal to 142. And if we continue in doubling it, we will end at 16. Because if we double 16, that will exceed to our given 19 in our multiplicand. And now, let's check if we have numbers that if we combine, we can get our multiplicand 19. So we have 16, 2, and 1. And now, let's get the corresponding numbers of each numbers. So we have 71, 142, and 1136. And if we combine those numbers, we have a product 1349. And that is all for the Typhoon Egyptian multiplication. Because of the landing of Typhoon Egyptian Arithmetic in the middle of the Upper Egypt, multiplying two numbers using addition becomes possible. To help the affected areas and places, the product of 26 and 16 is the hotline to send a donation. If you want to send a donation, make sure to use Egyptian Arithmetic in solving. You can put your solution and of course the product of 26 and 16 in the comment section. 
Moving on, Mr. Taras, it's your turn. Thank you, Ms. Gonzalez and Ms. Yere. The Typhoon Egyptian Division begins by doubling the divisor to the point at which the next duplication would exceed the dividend. To divide 91 by 7 would begin by doubling the divisor 7. So the value of our dividend is always begin at 1. Then we will copy the divisor which is the 7. Then after that, we will um, use the doubling method. So if we will double 1, it would become 2. And then if we will double 7, it would become 14. Then if we will double 2, it would become 4. And if we double 14, it would become 28. And if we double 4, it would become 8. Then if we double 28, it would become 56. So the value of our dividend is always at the left side, unlike in the um, multiplication. So here, this is our now the equivalent value. Then if we will add 56, 28 and 7 it would become 91 this is now the value of our dividend then after that we will get the sum of their corresponding number so in 7 there is 1 in 28 there is 4 and in 56 there is 8 so if we will get the sum of 8 4 and 1 it would become 13 therefore this 13 is the quotient of 91 and 7 for more example Ms. Yere will take over. Thank you, Mr. Torres. Now, we proceed to our next example, which is 47 divided by 4. We begin to our 1 as our dividend and copy our divisor, which is 4. Now, we begin doubling it. So, we have 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. 4 plus 4 is 8. And 2 plus 2 is 4. And 8 plus 8 is 16. 4 plus 4 is 8, and 16 plus 16 is 32. Now, if we double 32, it will exceed to our dividend, which is 47. Now, we begin the next method, which is the halving method. We start here in 1. So, the half of 1 is 1 half, and the half of 4 is 2. And 1 half of 1 half is 1 fourth. And the half of 2 is 1. Now, there are numbers that if we combine, we can get 47. That is our dividend. So, these are 1, 2, 32, 8, and 4. And the corresponding numbers of each are 1, 2, 8, 1 half, and 1 fourth. So, therefore, our quotient is 11 plus one half plus one fourth if we combine those numbers. That is all for the Typhoon Egyptian division. Through the doubling and halving, we can also solve the division in Egyptian way. Isn't it amazing how this ancient way improved to what method we are using today? Now, we will open another hotline for donations. What is the quotient of 35 and 8? You can put your solution and the hotline, which is the answer in the comment section. After the Typhoon Egyptian arithmetic passed through in the middle of the Upper Egypt, it left a history in mathematics that greatly contributed to the development of modern math. In the following days, expect a sunny weather because of the enlightenment about Egyptian multiplication and division. Again, I am Miss Gonzalez. And I am Mr. Torres. And I am Miss Sierra. This is Ancient News, and remember, in, in mathematics, mathematics alone, each generation builds a new story to an old structure. structure.